heard the ministers discussing the federal government's marijuana legislation. Well, the House of Commons Health Committee has been sitting all this week, and we have been bringing you those hearings here on CPAC, and they've been studying the legislation. MPs on the committee have been hearing witnesses all week long, and on Friday, among those witnesses were longtime legalization activists and marijuana entrepreneurs, Mark and Jody Emery. The two of them met with reporters on Friday after their appearance before the committee, and here's what they had to say. I believe that we are representatives of the victims of prohibition, of the advocates of cannabis who have not only been fighting for legalization peacefully and politically for decades, but who have also been persecuted and punished for having engaged in that activism. So we hope today to speak to the government about ending the criminalization of cannabis, not to reintroduce new criminal penalties of cannabis. We need to acknowledge the harms done by criminalization and admit that marijuana prohibition causes far more harm to individuals and society at large than marijuana itself ever has or ever will. Well, as for me, uh, this is the entirely wrong committee. It shouldn't be at the health committee. Cannabis is safer than almost every substance we can buy on Spark Street here. It's safer than candies. It's safer than coffee. It's safer than McDonald's. It's safer than prescription drugs, alcohol, tobacco. Virtually everything you can buy as a consumer is more dangerous than marijuana. So it's totally unworthy of any parliament to spend a whole week discussing the health of a product that hasn't killed anybody in Canada for 50 years. No one has ever died from cannabis. Therefore, it's absurd that we're spending all this time before the Health Committee. It should be before the Justice Committee because 2,400,000 Canadians have been cruelly and sadistically strapped with a criminal record, charged and arrested, and generally harassed throughout their lifetime of the last 50 years over something as benign and, again, that's never killed anybody as cannabis. So I'm going to tell the government that they're the problem. They continue to be the problem. Their law is terrible. Their law is the same criminalization we've had for 50 years. It's without merit. It's without justification. And it's got to be repudiated. So I plan to keep breaking laws. And we'll get our justice in the courts, where we have had it for the last 20 years. If the Health Committee is going to be looking at cannabis through a health lens, we have to talk about how cannabis is beneficial for people's health. Doctors and universities across Canada are giving cannabis oil to children to treat their epilepsy. Seniors and people who are addicted to painkillers and opioids are using cannabis as a substitution for dangerous, deadly drugs. We should be talking about how cannabis itself is good for people's health and that prohibition of cannabis is harmful to people's health. And if that's the way we have to look at it through a health framework, then we're here to speak about the ways that cannabis improves the health of Canadians. There was a survey that came out this morning and it said 51% of Ontarians are in favour of the provincial legislation that was introduced just last week that LCBO is going to start mandating all this stuff uh, once it becomes legalised. Your thoughts on, on that? I believe that the government has engaged in a very strong misinformation campaign about dispensaries and cannabis, trying to fear the public into thinking that we need to control and regulate it in a very restrictive way. One of the major issues with the Ontario government's proposal is that entrepreneurs and innovators and business owners will not be able to generate jobs in tax revenue. Instead, every taxpayer will be forced to subsidize the creation of a multi-hundred million dollar government bureaucracy that the government itself admits will not be able to supply the demand, will not be able to generate any revenue, and will only cost Canadians. Legalization should mean we legalize the existing industry. Ontario is a place to grow. They should allow the growers of Ontario the ability to provide their product to the market legally without any fear of criminal sanctions. And the purpose of legalization is to end the criminalization. This Cannabis Act just increases the number of ways you can be criminalized. And then at the provincial level, they're also criminalizing everybody who sells outside of their regime, who grows outside of their regime. And at the city level, they're rounding us up like by the hundreds in Toronto. And we you know, had 120 cops arrest me and others in Montreal in one day. So they're expending a fabulous amount of money and bureaucracy and regulations and all three levels of government to continue to criminalize Canadians for no good reason. There's no reason anybody should ever be charged, arrested, or put in jail or fined for cannabis. Cannabis is a completely benign substance in the grand scheme of things. And, you know, I, for example, think that 
we shouldn't even ask people who don't smoke marijuana their opinion. So when we see 51% approve of the government, it's irrelevant. That's mostly people who don't smoke pot. They should have no opinion, no say. This is strictly between the pot people and the government. We're the consumers, we're the growers, we're the buyers, sellers, and we're the advocates, we're the people that have been suffering, we're the people that have been denied our rights. The rest of the people are out of the equation. So asking people who don't smoke pot or not part of the industry what their opinion is doesn't mean sweet all. It means nothing. And that's the problem is we're asking people who aren't involved. The worst thing is that none of these parliamentarians are smoking pot. They have no clue about our culture. They have no culture, uh, clue about our past or what we've done or all the things we've had to suffer to get through. They're only vaguely aware of what criminalization means. They talk about it. Oh, yeah, we're going to make a law about this, a law about that. And they're so cavalier about it. They don't realize you're putting real human beings in prison or taking away their children or their cars or their homes or their cash or their livelihood all because of marijuana. That's insane. That's what you should be talking about. Why can you criminalize and justify any of this over marijuana? Hello again, I'm Martin Stringer, and you have been watching Mark and Jody Emery, two longtime cannabis activists and marijuana entrepreneurs, after their appearance at the House of Commons Health Committee's hearings into the federal government's marijuana legislation.